Welcome back, I've got something unusual today, it's a smart battery from Nightcore, the NFZ100. As far as I'm aware, this is the world's first smart battery, I will discuss later on if that is an important factor. The battery uses a Bluetooth connection to your phone, you've got the app information on the back of the packaging. This is a replacement for the Sony NPFZ100, which is the battery which fits quite a few cameras, A7 III, a7R3, R4, etc. The newer ones that have come out. Note that I'm saying equivalent when I talk about third party batteries. This is it. A counterfeit battery, for my mind, is a battery which pretends to be the original battery. So when you've got the app installed, you'll have to allow the Bluetooth connection to pick it up. Note that you do have to charge the battery for about three or four minutes before it will activate the Bluetooth. And then you get this information that comes up on the screen gives you an indication of the internal resistance, the percentage, you also have voltage and there is a storage mode where if it's left unused for 10 days then it will start to discharge to around about 70 percent. I'm not sure that I would use that feature myself but I have found that there are a couple of issues with the app. The first is that the charging time or estimated time left is inaccurate by a significant amount. I put the actual charge time on the screen and also the percentage reading isn't accurate either. So what you need to do is look at the voltage readout which is at the top and that's pretty close to the actual voltage of the battery. It's also possible to punch in the serial number on the battery so you can store that just in case you have maybe a few batteries around and you want to mark them individually. I did ask Nightcore about the power consumption and I put that on the screen. Those are the figures that they gave me and I converted the hourly drain rate to a daily and weekly. What I did was fully charge the battery and leave it for a week and it started at 8.4 volt full charge and it's down to 8.1 volts so there's definitely going to be some additional drain on the battery although I wouldn't say it was excessive. Next up I did a charge capacity test. The battery was fully discharged and then I charged it again and I got a reading of 2267 milliamp hour out of the battery that is charged into the cell so remember the discharge is likely to be a little bit less than that figure. As far as price goes, it's around about $45. That's the information I got looking at the Nightcore store compared to the original Sony, which is $78. Although I'm not a fan of the app, it might be useful if there is a firmware update. We did have broken compatibility with batteries last year, so it remains to be seen if there's any more problems with that. I'm also gonna show you quickly the US N4 Pro, which is the charger for this battery and this is very similar to the other Nightcore chargers that I've looked at and I've covered those in depth so I'll keep it fairly brief on this micro USB power charger to a type A USB and this is something which I think is useful for a portable charging option in addition to that you also have two slots so you can charge two batteries at the same time depending on your power input which I will cover I think they're okay chargers they're pretty good they don't have the best power efficiency, the conversion from the input to the output, but you do have the convenience of the micro USB, which means you can just plug in to various power sources and power banks and take it around and travel with it rather than being stuck with a mains charger. I've used a few of these chargers. I have one that they sent previously for another camera and I found that to be pretty good. I use them quite often and I don't have any big complaints with them. Having the LCD display means that you can get more information on the battery and that is quite useful. I've put the charging speeds depending on your input on the screen plus you can charge a single cell at faster speed with quick charge and you can charge two cells. So I do like that feature and the internal resistance I wouldn't worry too much about that. It's really a guideline. You can't get a really accurate internal resistance measurement off of a charger but it is useful to have more information including the charge capacity which is reasonably accurate it's not as accurate as my USB tester but it's good enough to see whether or not a battery is lower in capacity I would have liked to have seen a button to turn off the display but you can use them for things like solar charging power banks and taking them with you for traveling and they're way cheaper than the official Sony charger and let's be honest camera accessories are heavily overpriced and batteries and chargers is one area where I think it really needs to be looked at the pricing. However, with third party options, it does give you an alternative. At this stage, I'm not convinced that a smart battery is gonna be that useful, particularly as some of the information that you get isn't that accurate. 
but it might be of some use to someone. Perhaps if you run a lot of different cameras and batteries, you're doing video production using a lot of battery power, maybe you'll find a use for it. On the upside, the capacity is good. It's very close to the original and the price is a fair bit cheaper.